Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my top 10 luxury products that are worth your money. You know on my channel, I like to do affordable, high-end, luxe. We cover it all here, but this video specifically are luxury products that I think are worth it, that you guys will love if you've not checked out already. I'm sure none of these <laughs> will come as a surprise to you. Honestly, if you've been watching my channel, I've talked about all these at some point or another, and it's all compiled into this one video. So I cannot wait to share with you my top 10 products. I kind of did it by categories, so you're gonna actually get multiples in categories too. So it's gonna be more than 10 items, which I think will be really fun. So I cannot wait to share with you my luxury items that I absolutely love and cannot live without. So if you like the sounds of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And let's go ahead and dive into all my favorite luxury products. The first thing I wanted to talk about is silk. And if you guys have been following me for a while, I talk about silk pillowcases, eye masks, scrunchies. I love to use silk for the hair benefits, skin benefits. I think it's great. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Lily Silk. So thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple products that I have from Lily Silk, which are absolutely amazing, these pajamas and their pillowcases. So the luxury item I wanted to talk about are their silk pajamas. If you've ever worn silk, you know just how soft and cooling it feels on the skin. You never feel overheated or uncomfortable. It's just the perfect material to wear year round in my opinion. And nothing's better than a nice pair of silk pajamas. I am wearing the black set right now feels incredible on the skin. I'll show you guys a whole full body shot of me wearing these, how it fits my frame. I am wearing a size large. I usually go between a medium and large in my clothing currently. And for pajamas, I do like to go with my larger size just so that it's nice and roomy. You can see how it fits on me. I definitely have room in these and I think they fit perfectly, especially on my legs and the length of the sleeves. I think they hit me at the perfect level. I love the bottom specifically because it has an elasticized backing on it. So it does have some stretch in the waist and the hips. And if you need that extra stretch, I think that's really fantastic. It makes it even more fitted and comfortable in my opinion. So I love that attention to detail there. You cannot go wrong with a nice pair of silk pajamas. Truly, if you want it for a gift for yourself, gift for others, it's just something luxe and nice to have. Their packaging is stunning how they come. This is the pillowcase packaging and this is the packaging for the pajama set both similar and they come wrapped in tissue. It's just a beautiful presentation. I obviously have mine out and wearing right now. If you wanted to know for a gift, the boxes they come in are stunning. I also have a couple of natural white pillowcases, which I'll show you them on my bedding. I've mentioned silk pillowcases before as a gift for years. This is something awesome to give for people who have not discovered silk. And the Lily Silk pillowcases are actually a really great price too. If you're looking for mulberry silk, they use the highest quality mulberry silk. They have a zero waste policy so that when you're buying larger pieces of fabric like bedding, pajamas, any of the excess pieces they use for their scrunchies, their eye masks. I think that's amazing part of the brand that they really push is to have a zero waste policy. So I feel good shopping with them. Also, there's so many benefits to silk. It's hypoallergenic. The material is cooling and soft on the skin. It has benefits for skin and hair. If you don't know those benefits already, I'll put them on the screen for you. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but there's so many benefits for your skin and hair, and that's why I've been using silk pillowcases for years. And having a silk pajama set is just a luxury item that I think is just a great way to expand my love of silk. My kids sleep with silk eye masks. I use silk scrunchies for my hair. Pillowcases, as I said, I still need to get a bedding set of silk, honestly. <laughs> That's my next step up. I would love to sleep in silk sheets. So in the future, that would be something that I would love, maybe as a Christmas present for my husband and myself. My husband and I always go on gifts that we can both use. So silk bedding would be a great addition for us. We did pillows last year. 
Silk bedding would be really good for this year. I'm gonna have to tell them. But if you guys have not checked out silk, I would highly, highly recommend checking out Lily Silk. I will leave links down below to shop their site. They are offering a discount code as well for my subscribers. So thank you so much for shopping the link for checking them out. It's a company that I think is great that you guys are gonna love either gift for yourself, gift for other people definitely check out Lily Silk. Next, I wanted to mention makeup. I am a makeup channel and I figured for luxury makeup, I wanted to talk about one brand specifically just because the sheer amount of products I've recommended over the years that I love, that are top drawer for me, that I highly recommend. Not a shock whatsoever. It is Dior. Specifically, I love their backstage collection, but the first product that ever got me really into Dior was their lip pencil. This takes me back years. It's the Dior lip pencil in jungle brown. I'm wearing it today. I'll swatch it on my hand for you guys. But it's this beautiful pinky rosy tone, which is perfect for defining my lips. Super close to my natural lip. So when I want a more naturally defined lip, I'll use jungle brown. If I want some more definition, I'll go for a rich chocolate brown. But this is definitely on the natural side for me, which I personally love. I'll use it all over my lips, outline my lips. As I say, I'm using it to outline today. But the Dior Backstage Collection, it doesn't get better than this. This is top drawer for me. I love their face and body foundation, but specifically their powder products won my heart. I'm wearing their Backstage Rosy Glow Blush in pink. And I also ended up picking up the coral shade because I loved the pink so much. These are amazing because they adjust to your pH and they're hard to get a hold of, but if you can get a hold of, they are totally worth it. They don't look anything like their cover. And I always have to say that in my videos because it's quite deceiving if you thought it was a clear case. It's not, the colors are very different. They're my top powder blush formula currently on the market. And I hope they come out with more colors. And then I recently picked up another of my Powder No Powders from Dior. And you guys know I've been raving about this for a while. I have 3N and 2N. I'm gonna show you side by side for those in between shades, kind of like me. Right now I am wearing 3N, but I did pick up 2N during the Sephora sale for the cooler months. If you're in between colors or ever wondered that is the jump between two and three, which is kind of a big jump. I can mix these now though. It's totally worth it. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now to set my face. I use it as a finishing powder and it just gives your skin a healthy, natural set. It has a glow to it, but it's also perfecting. And it's not a glow that's glitter or anything like that. It's just a natural radiance while perfecting your skin, which is hard to find in a powder. It truly smooths out your pores, makes everything mesh together well, perfect finishing powder. And I cannot say enough good things about this powder. Probably my favorite product that Dior makes. And that's saying a lot because I love those blushes and I've loved that lip liner for years. And these two products I've loved for years. It's the Backstage Contour Palette and the highlight palette. You have seen me use these on my channel multiple times. I'm wearing both today and I cannot get enough of these two products either. So if you've not checked out Dior makeup, they are my favorite for luxury. It's always a treat to get them. And there's rarely a product that I wouldn't recommend from the brand, but specifically what they did with their backstage collection, I think is the best Dior has ever done. It wouldn't be a Cheryl luxury video without talking about my love for Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom, wouldn't it? <laughs> you guys know I love that so much. And I have two products to share with you today, though I love their candle as well, but I have another luxury candle, which you guys, I'm sure gonna guess in this video that I'll talk about later, but Mimosa and Cardamom from Jo Malone. This smell is me. If you wanna know what my home smells like, what I smell like 90% of my life, it is Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. It's the most warm and cozy happiness in a bottle scent that ever exists. It's a top fragrance of mine and something that I recommend to all of you to just smell and experience the warmth that this gives, the happiness. It's just pure perfection. It's super simple in terms of the notes. However, it is a standout stunner product that I cannot get enough of that I will never not have. 
So I have the cologne here. I also have their body and hand wash here in the mimosa and cardamom scent. Love the packaging on this. Definitely a luxe purchase if you're gonna be spending that kind of price point on soap. <laughs> Though I think it's worth it to me because of my love for that scent. I'm obsessed, I can't get enough. Please check out this scent if you haven't already. I've spoken about it for years. It encapsulates me perfectly. So please go and smell that. <laughs> Only because I mentioned candles and this is a nice segue to this. Forever Mood candles, luxury candle. This is the first time I ever really got into Lux Price Point candles. I love the Jo Malone one, but even that is a little high for me. This is my perfect kind of luxury price point for a candle. All the candles I've got, I've loved. The hot throw on this is incredible. Can smell it my whole house. I have really high ceilings in my living room. It literally smells up my entire space. I can smell this throughout my whole house. I have a candle burning back here. Even though my door is closed, I can still smell it up into my house. It just has an incredible throw on it. Even a cold throw, just taking off this lid, fills a room. It is incredible. Whatever Jackie Ina has done with these candles, like keep doing it, because these are currently my favorite candles to exist and I cannot get enough of them. They're finally on Sephora too, so if you haven't had a chance to check them out, go check them out there. Being a makeup lover, I have my luxury makeup items and then I also love to invest in brushes. I have a bunch here from Ruffer that I wanted to mention, though you guys know I use all sorts of brushes, but specifically I've been in love with the Ruffer brushes. They're handcrafted in Japan, so if you've ever wanted to experience that sort of quality, this is a great place to start. I specifically mention Ruffer because I feel like they do the best detail brushes on the market. They have a wide range of small detail eyeshadow brushes. And that's specifically why I wanted to mention them because I do have smaller eyes. And for me, sometimes a regular blending brush, which I'd consider the 16 here, can be a little big for my eye area. And I love that they make all of these various sizes of tiny brushes right here. So I will link all the numbers I love down below, but definitely check out Ruffer in case you're curious. I also have some Tom Ford brushes, but I have a Ruffer one that's a great dupe for it. A Little bit cheaper if you're looking for a big bronzer brush, number 22 from Ruffer, because I know Tom Ford has changed their fibers to synthetic. I've had some subscribers message me that you don't like the change there, Definitely check out the Ruffer brushes. I think you're gonna really love them and their quality. They're one of the top in terms of luxury brushes that I highly recommend. This next product I consider a luxury item. I used to actually use one by Dior, which I'm curious to go back and compare the two because I recently got back into using an eyelash primer prior to mascara. I've been really on a lash journey, trying to use false lashes less, and this has really helped me. This is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. It is a lash primer, and it really makes your lashes look incredible prior to mascara. So put this down, it kind of nourishes your lashes. I find using this, I have less lash fallout, more growth with my lashes when I do prime them and really take care of them. So my friend got me back into using a lash primer and I'm so happy to be back using one. I always forget when I stop using one, how much of a difference that they make. That is a luxury item. If you've not tried, I would definitely recommend. And also in the same family, I wanted to mention a lash growth serum because I've used Revital Lash in the past, which I love. I have the Grande Lash, which I love too. So either one of those, I'll link both down below, but check out a lash growth serum. The only issue with this is when you stop using one, your lashes go back to how they normally were. So it's something that you have to keep up with, but it truly makes a difference if you keep it up. If you're like me, embracing your natural lashes, want them to appear longer and fuller and just really take care of your lashes, a lash serum is something great to invest in. If you've not tried one already, I think you'll notice a difference, honestly, because every time I stop using it, I'm like, I have to reintroduce it into my lashes because it truly does keep them nice and long and full. Another product I've been using for years and years and years, 
I don't even know how long at this point, but it is a Foreo. And this is a skincare device that you can use to cleanse your skin. It just cleans your skin better than your fingers. It kind of vibrates the gunk out of your pores is how I like to think of it. And it also makes my pores appear smaller when I use this consistently. So it's something that I use morning and night. I can take it in the shower. I love that the Foreo has an incredible charge on it. So I rarely have to charge this to the point that I always misplace the charger because it lasts for a good six months using it twice a day with one charge. So I love this. Highly recommend investing into a skincare brush if you really are into skincare. It's something I think anyone can utilize and would see benefits from. And then for skincare, this is a luxury item that I probably got into maybe two, three years ago, I'd say. So I haven't been using it forever, but it's something that when I introduced it into my skin, my skin really loved it for its reparative and moisturizing qualities. And it is La Mer. I know this is super pricey, but honestly for me, the moisturizing cream works. I also have the soft cream, which I like to use for the warmer months. And then I just use the moisturizing cream for the cooler months because one is a little bit more lightweight, which I prefer for the warmer months, but it's something I truly notice a difference in how my skin heals and is moisturized using that. I also really love their Renewal Oil. I recommend the moisturizers more. The oil is great, but I would go with a moisturizer first. And then if you really want to treat yourself, I've talked about this in my recommendations, but the La Mer Lip Volumizer. This is my empty that I'm currently scraping out with those spatulas I got from Amazon, <laughs> you guys remember? So I'm using up the last little bits of this. I took out the stopper just to get my use out of it, but it's almost done. Couple more uses there but it is great if you love a lip volumizer that's not painful. It has a sweet mint scent to it, which is my favorite. And it gives a beautiful glossy look with the sheer tint of color. It's perfect everyday sort of gloss for me and one that I highly, highly recommend. If you wanna pamper yourself, this video is luxury. After using that lip balm, game changer for me. And for me, for luxury, I use a lip balm every single day, so I'd rather put my money into products that are luxury that I use daily. That is a true, amazing luxury recommendation in my opinion, is something that I use daily or almost daily. A luxury item that I use once a month or whatever, not one that I would recommend. These are daily used products or nearly daily that I cannot live without and that is what makes a good recommendation to me. This next product, this is the last sort of skin type product. It's for the body. The whole company I love, but it is Sol de Janeiro. This is their big size of their Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel Cream. I get the big size around the holidays because that's when they have it in stock. It is more pricey, but it's worth it if you use this. I cannot get enough of this smell. I just had a shower, but I had all my products set out here and I couldn't wash my body with this because it wasn't in my shower. And I was truly disappointed because I use this every time I shower. So I love this, used it for years. You guys know my love for this. It's something I highly recommend. If you love Sol de Janeiro and have not checked out the body wash yet, what are you doing? <laughs> like you need to check out that body wash. So good. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is a new love of mine, which you guys will probably know why I included this. I love it so much. It is my Dyson Airwrap. I got the holiday edition one. I plan on doing a full review of this, but it is something that is truly luxe that I've been using every single time I style my hair. This has replaced so many different products for me. It replaced my blow dryer, round brush, a couple of my curling ones, but I'm still gonna mention one that I love that depending on the type of curl you like, I think is still worth getting. But if you were ever curious of the Dyson, for me, though pricey, it is worth it. And I had a subscriber explain this best to me. She said she got this gift as a pregnancy gift for her daughter. And she said she wanted to give her the gift of time. And that truly explains this product the best because it saves 
me so much time. And that is why I love it so much. I can straighten my hair, blow dry, whatever style I'm doing in such little time with this compared to I'd have to blow dry my hair and then style it. This is just cutting out one of those steps for me and truly a time saver. So that's how I think about it forever. So thank you to the subscriber who shared that personal story with me because it's a time saver. It's a gift of time, truly. Just because I know the Dyson is super luxe, I wanted to give another product that I used prior to getting the Dyson that I still use depending on the kind of curls I want for my hair but it's the T3 curling iron, the one with the interchangeable barrels. You can buy the base, you can buy the barrels, you can buy it with a couple barrels. I have a large size barrel, the one large size with the clamp. I have a medium size with a clamp. I have a smaller barrel than that clamp one, so a bunch of different sizes. And then the last one I have is the tapered one, which I actually use quite a lot. I find that keeps the curl more if you want tighter curls than the Dyson and it lasts a little bit longer if that's what you're needing for your hair. The Dyson gives a specific sort of blowout look which I personally really love but this gives more of a curl that will last for me and I had to recommend as well just in the category of hairstyling because I think both are worth it for me. I've used this one longer but the Dyson one is just quicker and gives me that sort of blown out look like I did today. I can't use a round brush for the life of me and this can give me that blowout look, super shiny, healthy hair, super quick to dry as well. I just love it so much. So that is everything for my luxury products that I recommend. I hope this helps you out. Maybe decide on some of these higher priced items that sometimes we might not wanna buy just due to the price tag. I get it. I range from affordable to luxury on my channel specifically. It takes a lot for me to recommend a luxury price point item. As always, I would love to know what your guys' recommendations are in the comments section below. If you're looking for silk items this holiday season, be sure to check out my link below as well as my discount to save some money. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I've been thinking about this video for quite some time, exactly what products I wanted to include, what would make the cut, and these are the top of the top to me, things I know that you'll love that are lux price point, but are worth the investment. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red subscribe button to join the family here, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.